In this tutorial, I'm going to show you and help you to get set up on Machined AI. Machined AI is an AI blog writing tool that helps you create clusters of blogs from 10, 15, 22 more blogs that are interlinked with each other and backlinking to the right references and resources. It's a very, very powerful blog writing tool that we have used as an agency and have been getting consistently positive results like this client right here. And you can see the timeline. This is even doing positive from throughout the March update of Google. We're still getting a lot of uh, traffic and impressions. We filtered it out here from all the pages that only have blogs within the URL because that indicates only the blogs that we're writing with Machine AI. And we have another result here that is actually doing even better with AI written content with Machine AI throughout the March update on the Google search engine network and we're still doing really well. I wanna preface this by saying that this isn't for every single niche and industry out there. None of the clients that we have fall under the category of your money or your life, meaning that nothing that we write is really going to affect somebody's financial perspective or health, which is something you should consider before using these AI writing tools. Regardless, I wanna show you how to get set up with Machine AI. The first thing you need to do is sign up. The free version for this is more than enough, although in later videos, I'll show you how to use the paid version, which I think you should use if you need to write a lot of blogs for your clients or for yourself. There's an, a link to sign up to the platform below that is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything else at all to sign up, but it helps the channel a lot. This type of tool though is called a bring your own key type of tool where you need to get your key from OpenAI to be able to use this. I'm gonna show you how to do that before we even sign up. And if you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an SEO agency, particularly an AI powered SEO agencies where I help companies and people how to rank their websites with the power of AI. I also run a online community, which you're welcome to check out. It's called the AI Ranking and Automation Hub where I teach everybody that wants to, how to use artificial intelligence for SEO. We have a whole AI powered masterclass dedicated only on teaching you how to use artificial intelligence to rank your website. But we also teach you how to create AI powered automations using the API and the custom GPTs from OpenAI in a lot of fun automations. Um, you're welcome to check that out. We also have uh, weekly meetings. You can twice a week, you can meet with us and you can ask us questions. It's a way that I can support people that have just started in this journey of using artificial intelligence for marketing. I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you want to check it out. If you don't want to check it out, no problems. Keep watching these videos because I'm going to try and teach as much as possible how to use these tools. We're going to go to OpenAI and within the project overview, the URL you want to go to is platform openai forward slash organization forward slash project. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. You wanna go and hit API key. This is gonna show you all the current API keys that you have within your account. You can see I've got a couple here. You might not have any here, that's all right. You're going to create a new secret key, name it appropriately. We're gonna use it in Machine AI, so it's probably a good idea to name it that. Uh, if you haven't done, if you haven't created projects within your account, just go to the default project. That's all right. And the permission needs to be all, and you need to create a secret key. Now, before you click out of this, you need to copy it and make sure you save this somewhere else because this will be the last time you can see this key. Very important aspects of what you can do. A, click, a quick trick is just go docs.new. And if you connected it onto all your Google accounts, that will automatically create a little document for you and you can paste it there while you do your other things. Don't try using this key. I'm gonna delete it in a second, so yeah. Um, now, in Machine AI, we're going to log in. I'm going to log in using a new browser so I can go through the whole new experience here with you. And log in. The email, obviously I'm gonna put my email here. I need a verification code, need to get that in my email. Verify. Perfect, so it's just giving us a little update uh, about their newest addition to it, but we don't need to read that at the moment. I'm going to put all your names here and I'm gonna go continue. Here's what I meant by this. Machine is a bring your own key service, so we'll need your API key. That API key that you just saved in that Google Doc, we're going to copy here, that's not it. <laughs> we're gonna copy that API key that we left in our Google Doc here and go paste it. And we're going to verify. It's going to then call the API key into your OpenAI account and make sure that this is all 
functioning to success, fantastic. And we're going to finish. Let's get started. Now, before we get started writing with Machined AI, you need to make sure that you obviously have your API payment set up in the back end of your OpenAI account. If you haven't done that, uh, let me know and I'll create a tutorial on how to do that in uh, next time, but I don't really wanna do that now. It's not the uh, tutorial for it. I'm going to, we're going to pick this random site to write blogs for this. So this is a dog training service business. So they write already, they have a few blogs about helping your dog, dogs can get sad too. And we wanna help them by creating a cluster of blog that is going to uh, help them become the topic authority figure within their niche, which is what we want to do. So within Machine AI, this is the interface. Don't worry about these things for now, the webhooks and the CMS connections, they're very, very useful tools, but we're going to use them in another video for now. I just wanna get you set up. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a cluster. And the topics, well, we're going to do pets, dogs, and dog training. The audience are gonna be um, dog owners in Melbourne, in Victoria, in Australia. You know your audience a little bit better, so I would try and fill this out as much as possible, but even this will kind of do. I'm gonna go dog owners in Melbourne, Australia, um, looking for training dog tips. The language, this is really important. I'm going to go UK in Australia. We write in UK English, not US English. And for now, we're just gonna use the, use the autopilot function. If you know anything about keywords or you've got a really good idea about what you want to write, then go the premium. You will have to pay for this. I can show you that in another video. I'm gonna go the autopilot route for now. The global region, I'm gonna put Australia. If your country isn't in the global region, don't worry about it too much. It still works really well. You can just write global. Just make sure that in the previous version, you really detailed who your customers is, your, your audience that you're writing about, and you mentioned the geographical location in that. For now, we're gonna do the small cluster. So the free version allows you to do five blogs right away. And it's doing some keyword research. It's going to suggest the titles as well as suggesting the keywords that that title of the blog is trying to target. For example, this one is about crate training for dogs, obedience training for dogs, agility training for dogs, clicker training for dogs, and dog training books. Perfect, I don't mind that. It gives you a little understanding of the keyword density and the key, sorry, it gives you a little understanding of the keyword volume. This refers to the estimated monthly search volume of that keyword. The comp is the competition, the competitive of that keyword. And the trend is whether that keyword currently is going up in search volume or down in search volume. Pretty easy things to understand. If you've ever used SEO tools, it's very much the same kind of thing. We're going to go through everything here. So the length is pretty self-explanatory. It's about the length of the blog or the content. Now. Longer content doesn't just mean better content. It's all about the quality of the content. What I mean here is if you can write what you need to write about in the blog within 500 words, then it's going to be fine. It's all about the context, how good the quality is. By changing the top row, you change all of the blogs here. So I'm gonna give you some variation just to show you the difference between the long, uh, I'm gonna put the very long short here and the medium here. The model, it really depends, it's up to you. Obviously 3.5 is gonna be a lot cheaper, so it's gonna be 4.0. I'm gonna use 4.0 because in my experience, I like the way that that writes. The tone of voice, you've got a bit of uh, playing around here that you can do. This really is up to you in terms of what your current tone of voice is with the blogs that you're writing. There is a very big difference here. And just watch the menu here, not the menu, watch the title as I change this from example, um, neutral to humorous. It's going to start changing the title because well, from the tone of voice, it needs to change everything. It already pour some pursuits, right? It's trying to be funny. I'm going to change a couple of this to professional, uh, one to excited, another one to formal, and then the last one to, uh, we'll leave it in neutral. The perspective, how you write, whether it's I, me, we, you, plural, whatever, you can change that as well. I'm gonna to leave to third person. 
the interlinking is very important. If you want these blogs to interlink within each other, meaning that, for example, when we write this blog, Transform Your Dog's Behavior, throughout the blog, it'll mention the keyword obedience training for dogs, and it'll link already to this blog. So this is already doing the internal backlinking for you, which is so positive for your on-site SEO. So I'm gonna make sure that I've got this enabled. And the feature image is quite a fun feature. It already creates the feature image for you. There's three ways you can do this. If you've got a Pexels and an Unsplash account, you can connect the API key for both of those and it'll do it the best it can to try and create images or find images, I should say rather, sorry, it'll try to find images that best suit the main keyword for the blog. If you use DALI 3 though, it'll create the images using AI. Depending on your niche, your industry, your current images that you use, you might have to use another tool. I don't mind the DALI though. So uh, the image style, I'm gonna leave as it is. The most important factor of this whole thing probably is the research functionality of it. I'm gonna show you and dive deeper into here as well. If I go to configure, I've got two boxes here. The automatic research, if we read it, it says, we will automatically scrape a number of the search engine results page, extract relevant citations and use them as content correctly. Here, I can exclude domains to, so that it doesn't extract and scrape. So if I've got competitors that I really don't want to mention, I might want to put them there. In the other side of this, and the tool that I use most, is the semi-automatic research. It says provide us with links, in a, with, provide us with a set of links and we'll scrape them, extract the relevant information and use them as context. So a really good thing to do here is create, uh, is grab your website and if you want, use your services, use your product pages, whatever it is, as training material, as well as your about us page or whatever you want, so that it will have more context on how it should write. And it will write a lot more custom copy for you. I'm gonna do that now, just gonna add a couple here. I've got the puppy dog school, the general obedience. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the about us and one more, the seminars they've got. Beautiful. So now you can only do five of these, but it's such an easy way for it to reference your website as well. Uh, include citations and references. You don't want disabled, you don't want that disabled, you want that enabled. And then the reference style can stay in line as it is. The citations in line and the citation density, how many times it wants to mention that, just leave it as standard, that's enough. So I've got my research for that one blog here. They are changing this feature because you need to do this blog by blog. And when you're doing 30, this gets a little bit tedious. However, they are changing this feature soon. I've been in uh, conversations with the owner who's a very nice guy of this application. So now I've done all of these here. And all I need to do is select all of them here, the clusters. And in the actions, I can write five articles. I can write each of them individually if I want to and just read them as they are. And I'm gonna come back, you're gonna give it a minute, it's gonna take about five to 10 minutes to write all of them, or five minutes actually. So I'm gonna pause the video here and come back when they've completed writing so I can show you what they look like and the quality of the blogs. Now that all my blogs have pretty much finished being written, I can take a look at them and I wanna show you what they look like. So here I can go to read, I'm gonna read the second one here. And it says, uh, no more rough behavior, the ultimate guide to obedience training for dogs. I just wanna go back and see the tone of this one that we selected. This one was humorous, so that makes sense. Uh, rough behavior. Before I start writing them, I wanna show you, if you just select your blog homepage and you go back to what you've written here, I just want you to put that up here because then I can see the other places where it's already been backlinking to the blogs that we've already written. So if we scroll down in the blog and check it out, we see that it's writing with uh, H1, H2s. This refers to a table that it's written. A really good way to change up the type of content throughout the blog to make it more interesting to read. And then if we look down, we see some things here that are underlined. And if we look here, visit our guide on clicker training for dogs. 
And if we go back to the blogs that we've also written, it's this one, Clicker Training for Dogs. So it's already interlinking, internally backlinking the blogs that it's written, fantastic. Right, let's have a look at another blog here, just to make sure that we're happy with it. The Clicker Training for Dog, let's read it. The other training is pretty good image. I'm gonna go down, obedience training for dogs. I see that it's already interlinking here. You just need to make sure that you've got your main blog hub URL here for it to actually show you the link that it's referring down the left corner here. Perfect. Okay, not bad. So I've got a couple of blogs and this one was the short one. For example, here's the difference. It's that long which is i think a little bit more than 500 words maybe 600 which is perfect if you want that short um nice and let's have a look at the last one read if we see now uh the research that it's used as citation it cited the ethical dogs which was the actual website that we wanted to cite and these other websites that it's always good to externally link to high quality sources in your own blog it's really really good to do that uh, and now within a second, I've got all my blogs ready to go. This one just needs a little reset of the image. We're gonna go to Dali and just generate it again. Now, while that other image is generating, sometimes you have to do this thing. That's more from the, uh, an error from the API of OpenAI, not so much these guys. What we're going to do here is the blog itself, the next video I'm gonna show you how you can connect it to your website or actually connect it to the webhook so you can send this blog to let's say a Google Sheet or a Google Doc or whatever it is that you really want, as well as your website obviously. We see this blog has been linking to external sources such as Pause, which is really good, How to Train Your Dream Dog, another external website, which is what we want, perfect. So this is like the perfect blog here. Um, once I, Again, do the blog URL here. You will see that I can copy this. Now I can copy this another in a number of ways. If I copy this whole thing and I paste it into a Google Doc so I can show you what it looks like, it copies the uh, the entire thing really, really well, including the H1s, uh, so H2s and stuff like that, which is really nice. This is also correctly formatted as a table and it's got the internal linking so it's perfect if your website though however only takes for example html in the background which a lot of do you can copy or download the html or download the markdown which is what you want you can even mark down the feature image only if you so let's say that i wanted to download the feature image only i can go to read the three dots here and i can download the feature image and i've got that there already so a really easy to use tool, particularly if you don't know and you don't want to do any keyword research, the free version is perfect. I mean, I've already got five blogs and if let's say I've got a brand new website that I've got no content on that I want to publish with a little bit of content, this is a really nice option. Like I said, we've had really good success with this tool. I've tried many tools, Article Blogger, Article Fiesta, Auto Blogger, and for the most part, this is the one that I've had the most success with. I highly recommend you check it out, even the free version. So if you want a solution for all your blogs, I would suggest to try Machine Day Eye out. Again, the link to sign up will be in the description below. If you have any questions about this, let me know. I plan to do about a three video series on how to use this tool to your advantage. Next, we'll go through the paid version because that will allow us to use the webhook and connect it directly to our CMS or our website. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Peace.